to understand energy harvesting uh, we need to understand uh, two things one the concept is you need to receive maximum power and uh, to receive maximum power we will follow a very simple and a very old concept of maximum power point tracking what does that mean there is a maximum power point uh, at which your system operates at and how much power it uh, tracks in the receiver and how much power it dissipates or transmits in the transmitter so we can use uh, an adaptable tracking mechanism or a fixed power maximum power point tracking mechanism to understand and make the matching networks for the antenna so that you can have maximum power so how do you have a maximum power here when the total power input at the system is uh, the impedance zing is completely resistive without any reactive power into it then you will have maximum power transmission so the condition for maximum power is ensures that your reactive power is zero or your reactive power is as close to zero as possible and for that you will try and use a programmable matching network to ensure that you program and uh, zone out or tune out all the reactive power the antenna can be modeled as a, a wire a voltage source v and in series with r and or the antenna resistance in series so that is the antenna model we are looking at now let me call your attention to the graph below or the signal graph below which shows how much actual load is absorbed or available from the p available so p available stands for the total available power at the receiver now uh, at the receiver you find that most of the power will be matched but some amount of power will get reflected so that is considered as a loss further when we go from the matched source you go into the load when you do a uh, rectification there is some amount of rectification loss that happens and then it further passes through passes through as load so effectively the total amount of power received or uh, harvested which is called p load to over the p available gives us the efficiency of energy harvesting so this energy of harvesting can be done by using uh, assuming that the power input uh, or the impedance at the input of the matching network is given as z in equal to r in plus j x in where z in is the impedance r in is the resistance and x in is the reactance our aim is to try and reduce this uh, x into zero now this can be further sent in to the rectifier and the rectifier effective impedance can be again looked at uh, impedance of the rectifier is equal to resistance minus jx or the minus the reactance value now this final value will get cumulatively present at v out dc which acts as the supply or the the load current or the load supply to the end and when the load is not present the all the energy can be stored into an energy storage device so this is how the energy gets harvested in an rf system and you understand where is the efficiency now 